All right, so let's do some some wiggle shapes, some wiggly shapes. Um, so wiggle is a it's a property of shape layers. So if you had any sort of shape, like this rectangle, let's get a better color here. Um, and you draw it. You have your rectangle in the shape layer. Um, if you add wiggle pass. Um, then you get this kind of auto animating, um, you know, wiggle. It kind of look, looks a little bit like you hand drew it. So um, you want to mess with these settings. The size is, you know, obviously the size of the wiggle. Uh, the detail is how many of these little like wiggles throughout you're gonna get. And then you have two different types of wiggles. You have this um, corner and smooth. I think smooth looks a lot better. It's up to you, and then this is how fast um, it's gonna kind of auto animate for you, so you don't have to set any keyframes or anything like that. So you can get really jumpy and fast. It just looks a little crazy, but if you want, you probably want something a little more subtle. Um, so yeah, that's how to do that in any sort of shape layer. Um, the the problem. Or I guess the little trick is to make your logo or your text or whatever a shape layer because if it's not a shape la layer, you're not going to have um, that option. So for text, um, just do some, some text. Um, you know, text is great and you have all these options for animation but you don't have wiggle so you gotta make these shapes so if you right click you can create shapes from text so you have your original layer then you have these outlines and if you add wiggle pass and that's just the default so it looks kinda bad Let me dial this down a bit smooth and then maybe a little faster you know you got something that's a little bit you know more alive than just your standard text which is cool and then the same thing for if you wanted to do a logo if you had a logo and I just happen to have uh, the Google logo in a vector format um, you might not have this option. This is uh, Creative Cloud 2014. Um, it's, this is not a brand new thing, but it's fairly new. Uh, let's drag this on the timeline and stretch it out. Now you can take this and create shapes from vector layer. Relatively new feature, super handy. Uh, the problem is it's not perfect and you might get things like this. This is basically a compound path in Illustrator, but it doesn't really know what to do with it here. So if you get something like this, uh, you have to kind of search out your problem. So this is the G, this is the O, and you have this merge pass feature that was added, but it wasn't added correctly, so the mode would be exclude intersections. You get all these different modes, so that's just the intersection. We want to exclude intersections for that. So you'd have to go through each one and, you know, figure out where the problems are and try to fix them. And it took no time at all. And then what you want to do with this, now you have your vector. Um, from Illustrator as shapes and you have all these different groups here you want to add the wiggle pass and if it ends up in like right here it's not going to affect this group 7 you want it under everything and now you have all these crazy wiggles and and, and that's something to note too like if you have very thin lines like around this G then this is going to just, like by default look like hell so you really gotta dial it back and 
and let's make this a little bit faster, like 10. Smooth. That's a little crazy. That's starting to get pretty cool. So, yeah, it's not perfect. Probably would be better to hand draw it in Flash or something, but for a quick way to just add some animation and add like a little bit of a hand drawn look, and if you really mess around with this, you can get it looking a lot better than this. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool little trick. So, hope this helps. And uh, yeah, let me let me see whatever you're working on. See, you, man.